I find Camden today to be very much the tale of two cities. You have the the waterfront, which is the playground for suburbanites who race down Mickle Boulevard or Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard as quickly as possible to get to the waterfront. So A, they don't have to see the squalor, and B, they don't have to see the people who live there. And then the rest of the neighborhood is the other part of the city, which seems to be deriving very little benefit from what's going on on the waterfront. Johnson Cemetery is part of that other city. It sits in a tiny corner of Camden, a poor and dangerous pocket of urban America. Johnson Cemetery is the final resting place of over 120 members of the United States Colored Troops, the African-American soldiers who fought valiantly for the Union during the Civil War. But today, there is little dignity here. The cemetery is strewn with liquor bottles, debris, and the detritus of the drug trade. A small group of activists and historians want to change that. They see in Johnson's salvation, the salvation of an entire city. In reclaiming the city of Camden from all of its problems that exist right now, part of that reclamation has got to be the reclamation of Johnson Cemetery. It will take a tremendous amount of courage from someone in local government to make a difference in that park. And it will take a commitment from everyone. 